everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain lit code question number 503 next greater element 2 given an circular integer array nums the next element of nums nums dot length minus 1 is nums of 0 written the next greater number for every element in nums the next greater number of numbers x is the first greater number to its traversing order next in the array which means you could search circularly to find the next integer number greater number if it doesn't exist written minus 1 for this number basically what they given question they given on nums array we need to find the which is the greatest number next to it okay if it is not found we need to approach by using circular array okay if the element which is the greatest that element we are returning is minus 1 throughout the array okay uh, see in the example on you can observe see nums they what they given 1 2 1 and the output is 2 minus 1 2 how means see the first index which is the next element greater 2 yeah we are written 2 2 if you observe so circularly the two number 2 is only the is number so we are returning this minus 1 if we take an second index it is we are returning 2 after circular is representing we are getting again 2 which is the greatest number we are getting 2 in example 2 1 2 3 4 3 and it is represented as 2 3 4 1 4 you can briefly understand in the whiteboard see in the example 1 what they given they given 1 2 1 okay and output is returning 2 1 2 See how means just one to one, which is the greatest element in this. We are approaching from left to right. Okay, two is highest. In this one to after circularly approaching, the two is only the highest, which is represented as minus one. See one, if we approach it by circularly, we are getting two as highest. In example two, one, two, three, four, three, which is the greatest element if we are approaching from left to right means two. From for two. Three for three third element for four. If we are approaching circularly, also we are getting four. So we are iterating minus one for three. Greatest element is okay. This is the approach by using two pointers. We can uh, write the logic i and j. I will be pointing the first index and j will be pointing to the i plus one. Okay. We will travel up to the n minus one element. J will also travel up to n minus one element. What we are doing? We are checking our current uh, J to the uh, to the array of i, which is greater than next of i. Means the greatest element of i. We are writing the array of i. But what is happening? In this logic will take the time complexity b of n square. Okay. We need to do this is very better optimal solution by using the stack. Okay. That I will in uh, show now. Stack is a data structure. Okay, uh, it it follows LIFO order. Last in, first out. Which we are inserted last. That we are picking out the first. See, if we are one to one, if we are inserting one, just we are popping out this one. That is the last in, first out. Okay, by using the stack implementation, we can write the logic. See, one to one. If we inserted this one. Starting one will be inserted. We will see uh, two is greater. It will uh, it will follow increasing order. Okay, two. If you are doing this, just we are popping out one. We are inserting two. Okay, which is the greatest element will be here. Next two, the same element means what we will do? We are returning minus one, which is the greatest element here. Two. Okay, we are returning two minus one two. Uh, this is by using stack approach. If we are see the coding, then we can understand proper. Okay. First, I take on one variable n. I stored nums size array in the n variable. After that, I declared vector if it is an integer type with the name vec for all the n elements. I am storing the minus one initially. Okay. After that, we created stack because we using stack implementation last and first out. Here we take on variable s. The given n n elements we are taking from two n minus one. We are traversing from last index to the first index. Okay. After that, we are checking the condition. Uh, the stack is not; it should be not empty. And if there is a top element means, then we will check the condition. It should be less than or equal to nums i modulo n. If this is satisfied, we are popping the top element. Okay. After that, we are checking the condition. I should be less than n. Then this statement will be executed. Okay. Then we are entering into the if condition. We will check the stack should be not empty. If it is not empty, means what we are doing? We are storing s top in vector of i. After 
completion of this iterating all the elements finally we are returning vector okay uh, for every uh, condition checking after we are pushing the stack okay and this is the code of the by using stack implementation if we dry run code means then proper will understand okay let's we can dry run the code let's dry run the first example 1 2 1 these are index 0 1 2 okay here n is 3 total there are three elements starting we declare the all three are minus 1 okay here i will starts from last index it will travels up to the zeroth index here our i will starts from here 2 3 are 6 6 minus 1 5 i will starts from fifth index it will travels up to zeroth element okay see now we are checking it is empty or not starting it is empty there will be no top element okay so we will not execute this function okay now we are checking the condition here i is 5 5 less than 3 this condition is false so we will not enter into inside it just we are pushing nums here i is 5 5 modulo n is 3 okay now 5 modulo 3 will become 2 here nums 2 value is 1 just we are pushing in the stack 1 now i is decremented to 4 now we are checking the condition 4 is greater than or equals to 0 yeah it is not empty and the top is 1 the 1 should be less than or equals to this nums i is here 4 okay 4 modulo 3 is 1 nums 1 we need to say here nums 1 is 2 1 is less than or equals to 2 yeah this condition is true just we are popping this one now now we are checking the condition here i is 4 4 less than 3 okay this condition is false so we are not uh, entering into inside it just we are pushing uh 4 modulo 3 uh, we are getting 1 nums 1 is 2 uh, now i is decremented to 3 3 is greater than or equals to 0 yeah this condition is true so we are entering into the while loop while loop it is not empty and the top element is 2 2 is less than or equals to nums here i is 3 3 modulo 3 3 modulo 3 is 0 nums of 0 is 1 2 is less than or equals to 1 yeah this condition is false so we are not popping anything okay now we are checking the condition yeah the i is 3 3 less than 3 this condition is false we are not entering into inside if we are just we are pushing i modulo n we are pushing nums of 0 nums of 0 1 we are pushing 1 now our i value will be decremented to 2 2 is greater than or equals to 0 yeah this condition is true now we are checking yeah this is not empty our top element is 1 it should be less than or equals to nums nums where i is 2 2 modulo 3 nums 2 nums 2 is what there 1 1 is less than or equals to 1 yeah this condition is true we are popping this 1 now in our stack as only 2 now checking the condition here i is 2 2 less than 3 yeah this condition is true yeah stack is not empty now what we are doing we are storing v c here i is 2 of top our top is 2 now this will be 2 now our i is decremented to 1 1 is greater than or equals to 0 okay uh, yeah it is not empty our top element is 2 it should be less than or equals to here nums uh, where i is 1 1 modulo 3 is nums 1 here nums 1 is 2 so we are popping this two okay now stack is empty now checking the condition here i is 1 less than 3 yeah this condition is true so we are entering into inside if yeah we are stack is empty if it is empty means what we are doing we are returning minus 1 okay after that we are pushing uh, nums of and i is 1 1 modulo 3 is nums 1 nums 1 contains 2 okay now our stack is 2 now i is decremented to 0 0 is greater than or equals to 0 yeah this condition is true so now we are checking this is not empty our top is 2 is less than or equals to nums of 0 modulo yeah nums of 0 modulo 3 will become nums 0 
Now zero is one. This condition what will come? It become false. We are not popping anything. Now we are checking the condition here. I is zero. Zero is less than three. Yeah, this condition is true. So we are entering the inside deep. It is not empty. Now VEC of zero top is two. We are storing. It is two. So we got two minus one two. Okay. Now we can run the code. Let's we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking v of n. Overall, it is taking v of 2n, where 2n is where 2 is constant, so it is taking time of v of n. Okay, comes to the space complexity, it is taking v of n because we are using stack, it will store n space, so it is taking a space of v of n. Thank you guys for watching my video.